I'm Dr. Gail Dubinsky, orthopedic medicine physician and certified Kundalini yoga instructor. Today's Kundalini core pearl is stretch pose. And stretch pose is probably one of the more demanding exercises in the Kundalini repertoire, but it's very rewarding in the intense strength and energetic resilience it brings to the navel point. So before I go on any further to talk about all the specific alignment and technical aspects of it. I'm just going to show it to you briefly so you know what we're in for. Stretch pose is accomplished lying down. And what we do is we lift up the feet, we lift up the head, and we do breath of fire with the back pressed down. Okay. So before you head for the hills, there are ways to make this accessible. First of all, if you have an acute or, or recent back or neck injury, do not do this exercise until it is healed. If you have a chronic issue or weakness, then there are ways to work up very slowly to a time and there are modifications we can make. The most important thing is that you have got to keep your back pressed down to the floor. And if you have a very pronounced sway back or lordosis in your low back, or you've got a good sized rear end, then you might wanna fold a, a small towel just enough so your low back has some sensation of contact besides just air. But you don't wanna be supporting your back up or lifting it up. Second thing is we are stretching the legs away from the body core, vigorously contracting, squeezing every muscle, holding, keeping the heels and, and big toes together. The head is as if you were tractioning the neck the, uh, along the floor away from the body core in the opposite direction. The chin is curled into the front of the neck, so you are engaging these muscles, the deep anterior muscles, not these strap muscles here. And the arms, they don't have, you know, the full pose is having the arms over the thighs or on the sides of the thighs, either way. But the first modification I would suggest for most of us, including myself, is that I just put my hands on the ground under my butt and just that and the pressure of my hands keeps me um, more able to do the pose correctly. And you know, if you are getting excruciating pain in your neck or your back, you just cannot keep your back down toward the floor, you have to stop. But if it's just uncomfortable or difficult, keep up and you will be kept up. That is the Kundalini slogan, slogan for keeping on. Okay, so let's begin. Um, I'm going to, um, I'm going to say, let's do it for 30 seconds. And I think we can just approximate with breath of fire. So let's begin. Let's begin with our knees into the chest. This is something my first teacher taught me. This keeps the back flat to begin with. So then it's easier to stay down as opposed to try to get it down once you're already in the pose. I'm gonna go ahead and do the modification I recommend from, which is to put the hands here. And then let's begin. Let's try for about 30 seconds, okay? Really squeeze. Okay, inhale, squeeze, pull root lock, and relax. So, with time, with practice, you can gradually increase your time to perhaps a minute. It's not the most enjoyable or fun exercise we do, but the rewards are great. So I encourage you to practice it in your rotation of core exercises. 
and we'll have a Kriya or two in the Kundalini Kriya sequence that will have stretch pose in it. So stay tuned. Satnam. I hope you enjoyed this video and that practice helps reduce pain and stress and enhance your well-being. Please check out my other short videos on this channel and my full-length videos at rxyoga.com. I welcome your comments, likes, feedback, and suggestions for new videos. And don't forget to subscribe. Namaste.